Welcome back. It can be your golden ticket to traveling, meeting the new baby, visiting a loved one. But is your negative COVID-19 test really negative? At one suburban testing site, employees are raising serious concerns about their own negative results. Tonight, a whistleblower is coming forward only to the CBS2 investigators with what she says is the proof. PCRs are used to get people out of the country. They're used to have get people into surgery. They're used to see immunocompromised people, newborn babies. You probably know them as the gold standard, polymerase chain reaction or PCR tests. That made me sick to my stomach. So when Patricia Sasso first contacted the CBS2 investigators, we admit we were skeptical. But then I started just testing the theory myself by sending positive COVID swabs. Sasa was the lead medical assistant at a Lombard COVID-19 testing clinic. They run their rapid tests on site, but send their PCR tests here to MedStar Lab in Hillside. Early on, she started getting complaints from patients who were getting positive rapid tests on site, but negative PCR results from MedStar for samples collected within minutes of each other. At first, she thought it was a fluke. This lady was having surgery. She was going in for, I think it was some type of heart surgery. I knew her rapid was positive. Positive enough for me to definitely call it. Um, she had a PCR from MedStar that had trumped my rapid. She still went into surgery. Sasso says the patient followed up and she, in fact, did have COVID-19, a serious case, and had to remain on a ventilator post-surgery. This can't be real. And then we even had a coworker get tested with um, MedStar and went to another um, diagnostic testing and did a PCR there and she was positive. Deontay Thomas worked at the testing center too. He said what he felt were suspicious negatives are one of the reasons why he left. Yes, I started telling patients throughout the line I wouldn't recommend getting a PCR. I would go somewhere else and get PCRs. And you work at the testing site. Correct. So it's like. So Sasso started testing her theory that some of the negatives weren't really negative, telling us she sent known positive samples to the lab. This contains the trace amounts of the actual virus of COVID-19. She used rapid test COVID-19 control swabs, COVID-19 samples used to check if the tests are working properly. And she says they all came back negative. Intrigued, we invited Sasso down to the station to do additional tests in front of us and our rolling cameras. Positive control swab will test positive on the rapid. These are, these are to test positive. We watched her send two positive control swabs in two separate testing kits. You open the control swab in front of us and you're cracking it off and sealing it in front of us. We assigned randomly generated names. What are we doing? Frank is the first name. I'm gonna stay at this for travel. And then we sent MedStar one unused sealed testing vial with nothing in it. So the vial is sealed. It's not, the vial it hasn't is even sealed. It hasn't even been cracked, yeah. Are they gonna, wouldn't they notice it's never been cracked? I would think, but they haven't but so far. Lastly, we submitted a sterile stick with no swab. So that is just the plastic part of the swab. It's a handle. Just a stick. Visiting ill mother. Less than 24 hours later, all four test results came back to us and they were all negative. I'm still in disbelief, like how is this real? In all, Sasso submitted nine either positive or invalid samples to MedStar. Every single one came back negative. The strangest example, this one, consisting of the clips from two pen caps wrapped in paper and stuffed into a vial. While it should have been invalid, yep, she got a negative result for that one too. They have to request the person to get retested or to say it's invalid. They cannot call a negative with, a, it's not even a sample. It was a pen cap. I've literally told patients at this point now to go other places. So, I mean, I can't watch it. I think it's definitely sketchy. But Meet Greg Gillum. He's the senior director of lab operations at Cameo, a large national testing company. They conduct PCR testing for CBS employees. If nothing else, it's incredibly unprofessional and like unsound procedures of them to be reporting out negative on something that's not even there. He reviewed all of our tests and the results. Because you're informing the public, like that's like a real person. Can you see why it's upsetting? That's MedStar's lab director, Ramon Patel. We reached out to MedStar to hear what they had to say, and to our surprise, they invited us in. This one tell you okay. how many samples are on their plate. Saying they have nothing to hide. So they'll pick it up, uh, they'll put it in the appropriate well, 
sure about it, but we'll we were greeted by the CEO, the COO, communications team, all there trying to answer our questions. Dr. Patel showed me the lab reports for every test we submitted, starting with the COVID-19 positive control swabs. There's no, no virus there. We're looking for COVID-19. No, that, that doesn't make sense. How is there no virus on a COVID control swab that lights up a rabbit but it test? It probably did not pick it up because it's not going to, if it's COVID already in th that media, it would pick it up because it picks up the controls. So you're saying there wasn't COVID on that sample? Probably was, but I, it didn't, it won't pick it up, but it's negative for, for you know, for COVID-19, you would pick it up. MedStar's team followed up by pointing out that positive controls can degrade over time, which is why they say they have questions about the quality of the COVID samples that were submitted. But what about the negative results for empty vials? MedStar couldn't give me any explanation for that. She just put a name on it and we got a negative. No swab? No swab. She did that twice and we got negatives. And you can see how that's concerning because then you know, let's say I'm going on a trip and I want a negative test. Couldn't I just submit a vial? It's not possible. You shouldn't. You yeah, shouldn't absolutely. be able to. Yeah. You should get an invalid response. That's what we're getting at. You guys can't, you can't tell me why the, the empty vial came back negative. Well, what I got results from the instrument. QC is there. So I'm going to report negative, you know. Even if I there's mean, no yeah. sample in there. Because you're looking for COVID, right? MedStar says they've passed all the proficiency testing required for their lab certification. But still, we were left with few concrete answers about our results. That you're not really taking a test, but you're getting a negative result. Sasso and Thomas have both since left their jobs at the Lombard testing site, but still are concerned. It needs to be talked about and instead of brush under the rug because this is something very serious. Serious enough, they believe, to be investigated. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. After our interview, MedStar got back to us and said the manufacturer of their testing equipment offered a possible explanation for some of our results. They said the equipment looks specifically for an N1 gene, and if our COVID swab didn't contain that gene, they'd get a negative result. We are following up with the manufacturer of the rapid test. MedStar says they stand by the validity of their tests. Megan Hickey for the CBS2 Investigators. MedStar also saying that out of an abundance of caution, they've retained a legal expert to oversee a comprehensive review of the company's COVID diagnostic procedures. We will, of course, follow up. Yeah, story there.